These are 10 forbidden places in Blocks Fruits. Don't go here. I mean, unless you want to. There's nothing I can do to stop you. Make sure you press like and subscribe because later in today's video, I'm going to show you how to find the secret cutscene boss, Rip Indra. And yes, you can attack him and he will even attack you. Now, I wouldn't want any of you to get in trouble. So we're just going to dip our toes in a little bit, you know, just a little like bop, just in case you want to test out some of these locations. This is one for not the naughty boys, but people who like to walk on the wild side on Tuesdays. Head on over to the jungle. Let's say you're getting attacked and you need a quick escape. You want to hide yourself from the badness. Didn't work. There we go. We're in under the ground. And if one layer of under the ground isn't enough to make you feel safe, you can hide in the bushes here. There's actually two layers of bush, which means you cannot be seen at all unless someone has observation hockey, which is cheating, right? But this is it. This is entry level baby's first glitched location. And you can't really do much more from here. You could try, but you kind of just end up out here again. I will be the first to admit there's not a lot going on in the first C, but there is two naughty boy locations right here. Let's start off with another like baby's first bad boy moment. You can come down here behind the under the sea castle and teleport inside. Another good way to get away from hackers. People won't be able to find you in here. I think the boss can attack you if you stand like here. It's very safe. You're not going to get in trouble going into this forbidden location. But what if we knock it up a notch? I'm going to give you two for the price of one. If we go back out to like the front of the sea, we need to find ourselves the barrier right here. You can see there's like an invisible wall that I'm running on. Yeah, this is it, it's possible to get out of this wall. There we go. So, oh, I'm dying. I didn't really show it very well, but it's kind of a little tricky that you have to do from the corner here where you teleport down into the water. And now we're outside the barrier, which actually means if we go up high enough, which can be a little bit difficult to do when you can't tell what is high enough. We could drop down and now we're on like, we're on an invisible box on top of underwater city. And I don't know what it's made out of, but it leaves this weird purple dust. So I guess it was a purple box maybe. And then they made it invisible. This is a really good place to hide. Sometimes when I'm playing hide and seek with my viewers, I hide here. They never find me. Moving on to the second C. There is so much going on in the second C. All right, we're going to start off with another freebie. This one doesn't even count as a part of the top 10, okay? This is one that every self-respecting Blocks Fruits player should know about. And that is that you're not allowed behind this door unless you're like us and you're a naughty person. Look, it's frog house and there's a bed back here it's actually funny because if you know this location you can go one further and like you could really go into some naughty locations like out here underneath the entire second c you see what i'm getting at this is the real naughty location and i really should have been fish man for this if you're under here and you come over to this little area right here this is another forbidden box of goodness we're in a safe zone now. If we stand on this little pillar here, which is super convenient for us, we can teleport in here and look, it's the mysterious entity who he won't let you uh, ascend and somehow I ended up behind him. You're not allowed here. This is trespassing, okay? Getting underneath the second sea like this and then finding our way to this guy. This is our first real forbidden location. Does this work? I think you can... You're not even allowed to go back. You're just stuck here now. We've all done the factory raid, correct? Of course. You ever noticed how you're never the first one to start attacking the factory? That's because when it's locked up tight, the bad boys of the game teleport inside and they jump up to the top here. And when the, whoa, when the factory raid starts, they don't get teleported outside. They're already here and they can just start wailing on it. It gives them a pretty big advantage. All right, it's finally time to go and find the Rip Indra secret boss. For this one, I would recommend a fruit that can fly or if you're extra wealth, the dough fruit is really, really good for this one. All right, we're at the back of factory. 
and you can see Skull Island is over there. We basically just need to head in this direction. I basically just like shoot this way and I'll show you how far everything behind you needs to be. You can look back and based on the silhouettes of these, you can tell if you're sort of close enough. I also aim for this big red light here. This, this is a star and usually the island is like over here. All right, here it is. We can just see it at a distance. I was kind of going towards the wrong red light. So once I get to the island, I'll show you guys sort of the location a little bit better. Because it's a landmass with trees, it's kind of hard to miss. And once it becomes nighttime, it's really easy to see it on the horizon. So if you look back from here, you can see that like, you can see how far things are away. That's the factory. That's Skull Island. You can see Little Garden there. So really, if you shot straight out from Little Garden and waited until that's how far away the land was, you would be here. Now, there is a Rip Indra boss. I have not tried this yet, but I think if you got enough people to combo him at the same time, you could definitely kill this guy. But right now, he's uh, unkillable, and I'll show you why. So when I kill or when I do enough damage to him, he's gonna let out this black aura. That's when the cutscene starts and he heals himself like a jerk. Now maybe, maybe if you had a full server of lava users, you could kill him in like a split second and then he would die, but I can't do it on my own. Well, that's it for the second C, but believe it or not, the third C kind of got the best stuff. So let's go. I know you're all gonna have your absolute favorite secret locations, but I'm just gonna do the ones that I think are noteworthy. Feel free to comment them down below. First, we're going to Haunted Castle. If we head into the castle, if you haven't done this quest yet, you can glitch through this door and find the ghost, but uh, that doesn't count. All right, there we go. I did it. <laughs> so from the far side over here on the right, you can teleport into this little bit, which is inside the castle. Look at this strange building. Very weird. I think the boss spawns in there. Yeah, and that's probably the walkway right there. Yeah, this is definitely the front of the castle right here. Look, I can see outside. There we go. Okay, good hiding spot. And if we wanted to, we could drop in on anyone fighting the boss. Don't do that. Don't use this for naughty things. This is just for entertainment. Let's see what else we can bust into while we're down here. Because usually, once you find your way into one part, you can find your way into more parts. So we're probably... Are we underneath the boss room now? Yeah, we're probably underneath the boss room. That's pretty cool. This could be a cool place for your crew to meet up. And then someone could create a portal to like i don't know say we're gonna go and attack people at the turtle mansion then everybody comes through the portal together and you like you do team up on i don't know i don't know i don't pvp but you could definitely team up on some guys since we're here on the turtle let's see if some of these locations still work for busting underneath the turtle yeah you gotta like get your cursor just on that bit of grass there and then we're in that's it oh man that one's harder to do than I remember. All right, let's portal dash and everything over here because I'm fairly certain this is the secret location at which people awaken things. Kaboom. Yes, this writing means the awakening guy is in here. Man, Turtle is huge. They're just a big place. All right, let's shoot over here. And let's try and discover some other great things. There's a good chance that there's nothing inside this rock and therefore you can't teleport inside it. Oh no, we're in. Yo! Oh, no. Now I'm just in an empty rock. There's nothing but me in the water. Oh, I stood on something. Oh, a hidden box. This is an even cooler hangout for you and your clan or your crew, whatever people call things. Oh, no. There's another secret box here. Either way, you could hang out here and, I don't know, plot things. Definitely plot the end of the world. That's for sure. All right. There's definitely more under here, but let's move on to my next favorite place. Oh, no. Hydra Town. Oh, that was close. Funny thing about Hydra Town is you can just walk inside the buildings. I don't know if anybody's noticed this, but you can't jump through them, but you can definitely just walk through them and then you can't get inside them or anything. All right, if we go over here to this dark corner, I believe, one of these spots is going to let us in. No, no, no. It's up in this corner. This is it. Yeah, we got we to gotta head back here and you got to try and get your cursor on this little lip here. I found it! And now we're inside Hydra Island. Extra super forbidden place. Just to really confuse you as well, the beautiful pirate is on Turtle Island, right? 
But Beautiful Pirate is actually located right here. The Beautiful Pirate domain is inside Hydra Island. What kind of mind tricks and games are they playing? This is a really cool place. I wanted to actually make a lot of videos in here, like about the back rooms. Oh, I fell through it. Whoops. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to get other people to come in here. I wanted to do like people could chase me in here and we could do PvP. But uh, it's very hard to get other people to get inside here. There's not actually a lot in this one that you can like glitch further into. I've spent a lot of time in here, all right? But this is where the Indra stuff is. Or I think, what's it called? Enma or Tushita? It's inside here. That The waterfall is just out here. As you can see, you can... I actually didn't know you could do that. But you can, uh, <laughs> you can kind of fully glitch your way through the waterfall right here. And there's even some nice grass here. Again... Great meeting spot for you to plot world domination with your crew. Except for this bit right here. Don't trust everything you see when you're in the back rooms. Because sometimes you'll just be walking along. And then they just you, there won't be anything underneath you. It's very dangerous. Here we are in the Temple of Time. And of course you guys know this. Actually, I think the easiest way to get out is over here. Fairly certain it was like one of these spots. I know they've tried to fix a lot of them, but... There we go. We're free! And then you can get on top of the temple. Now, if you're like me and you've pulled the lever, you have a lot more freedom out here than somebody who has not pulled the lever. Other people might have been teleported back by now, but I pulled the lever because I'm good at the game. And you can even fly over here and drop down on the clock, but you'll get blinded and it's difficult. You get blinded. But you're on top of the clock right now, okay? Trust me, man. This is a great place for you. But see, if you fly up far enough, see, I'm or I'm stuck on it already. I'm getting teleported backwards. All right, we went around it. What we need to do is we need to get down here. No! All right, it's very difficult. But you can play around outside the Temple of Time. If you're really looking to find out where the temple is as well, if you teleport outside the temple and fly in that direction straight back towards the mainland you'll learn where the temple is Alrighty, boys i think that's gonna do it for the forbidden my favorite top 10 forbidden locations in blocks roots if you had to take a brand new player who could for some reason access the entire game and you had to show them one awesome forbidden place where would you take them let me know in the comment section down below press like subscribe if you're new thanks for watching i'll see you all next time